Now it is even more clear the reason why Vladimir Putin could not attend the BRICS summit in South Africa, just as we had predicted for you in our previous video. The two main reasons that can motivate Vladimir Putin to not attend the BRICS summit it had nothing to do with what the world has been saying that Vladimir Putin refused to go to South Africa because he will be arrested if he tried to ever step his feet in South Africa. Instead, the man knew exactly what he was doing because one of these two reasons have already taken place as we're talking right now. Look at this. Is this face look familiar to you? Of course, yes, because this is the arrival of Vladimir Putin, the man who had declared an open war against Vladimir Putin, the man who was leading the wagon groups as you guys know it. But unfortunately, this man is no more alive. Listen to this report. Russian authorities say mercenary chief Yevgeny Prigozhin was listed as a passenger in a fatal plane crash months after the mutiny he led that brought the country into a crisis. This unverified video from a Russian news outlet is said to show the moment of the crash. Reuters used satellite and street view images to confirm the clip's location, but could not immediately confirm that Prigozhin was physically on board the aircraft. According to Russian authorities, the crash happened Wednesday evening north of Moscow, leaving no survivors. Ten people were on board the plane heading from Moscow to St. Petersburg three of them crew members. State media is reporting that eight bodies were initially found at the crash site, with search and rescue operations underway. Data from online tracker FlightRadar24.com shows a plane heading northwest and then shortly after 6 p.m. suddenly disappearing. Prigozhin soared in prominence after Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year. The 62-year-old's fighters led the assault on the city of Bakhmut in the longest and bloodiest battle of the war. In June, he spearheaded a mutiny against Russia's top army brass. President Vladimir Putin said that move could have tipped the country into civil war. He was supposed to move to neighboring Belarus under an apparent deal to end the mutiny. U.S. President Joe Biden said he wasn't surprised to hear the news. There's not much that happens in Russia that not behind, but I don't know enough to know the answer. There was no immediate comment from Russia's defense ministry or the Kremlin. With this report in mind, now let us try to analyze together and try to understand the possible way that could make this man's life finish just like that after he had abandoned his mission in Ukraine and launched a rebellion groups against Moscow. Since then, this wagon group leaders was considered by Moscow as a traitor. And we all saw how President Vladimir Putin came in the media and he did promise that him and his men will pay for what they have done. We all know what this man Vladimir Putin can do whenever he feels like his leadership is being threatened. According to so many reports, this man had eliminated many people in his country who have ever tried to challenge him. Now, could this be also the case with this man? We are not here to assume anything because it is too early for us to assume anything. But we are here to speak the fact as we did predict it by telling you that the only two reasons that will make Vladimir Putin to not attend the BRICS summit here in South Africa, it will be only for him to stop what the wagon group they have started already over there in Moscow. Because it was either him being taken out of power by these wagon groups or him facing the military coup which was supposed to be organized by these wagon groups. Remember, the West they were so excited from the moment when these wagon groups decided to start fighting against Vladimir Putin since they always want to have people on their side. Obviously, the wagon groups, they were also getting a lot of support from the West because they want to have some intruder that will be working for them inside Moscow so that they'll get a easy way to eliminate Vladimir Putin and stopping him from putting his hands on Ukraine. So that was something that Vladimir Putin was not going to allow. Instead, that was the main reasons he had to stay behind because if he come in South Africa, for an example, and the Republic of South Africa, they decided to protect him and not being arrested inside South Africa. Do you have any idea of what's supposed to be happening back home? 
by then when he's supposed to be sitting here in the BRICS summit? There is no a president who will leave his country in such situation for him to go and attend some business out there because anything can happen. In order for a president to move out from his country to another country, they usually have to make sure that everything's seated okay and no one has the right to go and betray them after they have left the country. Unless if this is being planned behind their backs without them knowing about it. For an example of a, a Burundian a president Kurunziza who had almost lost power when he was visiting the Republic of Tanzania by some militaries who want to do some nonsense over there. So I don't think that it was going to be a good idea for Vladimir Putin to leave Russia and attend the BRICS summit in South Africa knowing well that there is some people out there who want to fight him and remove him in power. At the same time, there is conflict which is ongoing in Ukraine. So once again here, all the strategies, all the plans that the West they had planned against Vladimir Putin, it has failed. Because it is now more obvious that the man is more clever than we thought. Now let us talk about himself, the man Vladimir Putin. Putin gave his first speech in a BRICS summit yesterday via a virtual video, which he had to say a couple of things. I don't want to speak in his behalf, but here's what Putin had said yesterday as he was addressing the BRICS leaders. Some countries promote the hegemony, exceptionality, and the policy of the ongoing colonialism and neocolonialism. I would like to know that the aspiration to preserve their hegemony in the world led to a dire crisis in Ukraine. At first, with the help of Western countries, an anti-constitutional coup d'etat was carried out in this country. After that, those people who did not agree with this coup faced a war. A war was unleashed against them, a war of attrition, and it lasted for eight years. Russia decided to support people that fight for their culture, for their traditions, for their language and their future. Our actions in Ukraine are guided by only one thing, to put an end to the war that was unleashed by the West against people in Donbass. We thank our colleagues within BRICS who have taken active part in the attempts to put an end to this situation and to ensure just settlement by peaceful means. Looking at it, you will understand that the BRICS summit was the perfect and the right platform for President Vladimir Putin to come and address these matters that is happening right now in Ukraine. He had to come and expose the West with their plan on what they have been doing. For example, when he explained of what the West they did killed innocent people in Donbass and putting the life of many people at risk. That was the reason why Russia had to go and jump in and start saving these people. Another reason that Vladimir Putin did explain to the BRICS summit was the one that the West NATO countries decided to come and try to place their military in Ukraine and Russia border. That was something that the Russian leader could not tolerate as they know that they are one of the powerful countries in the world, so they had to come and try to defend themselves. So the men went on and explained some of the reasons why this conflict that's going on in Ukraine could not finish until now. Vladimir Putin is accusing the West to be behind all this. He said that his demands are not being considered so far by the West with the Ukraine government since all these negotiations started, but yet they want all their demands that they are putting forward should be considered. He even gave the example of African leaders who travel all the way over there to Moscow and Kyiv in order for them to bring peace between these two nations, even though there is not enough effort that we get to see from all these countries. Do you know why? Because they believe Africa does not have anything to tell them. Africa can't bring a solution that they can accept. Africa can't say something that can work, that can bring the peace to in this world. So it is more obvious that was the reason why they could not even listen to what Africans went to bring there as their message. So guys, we shall wait and see what will happen now that the wagon group leader have passed on. And we shall wait and see 
what the world will say because right now i can see everyone they're like we are not even surprised everyone they're like we're expecting this you know do you remember mr blinken interview recently when he says that this man is a dead man is walking as a dead person because they all knew that dealing with someone as a vladimir putin challenging someone as a vladimir putin you must have your if you don't have them vladimir putin will make you disappear just in a blink of an eye so let's wait and see in the meantime the BRICS is continuing we shall wait and hear from the president vladimir putin what we'll have to say about these matters whether he have the hand in his death or not so this is the breaking news that it is on all the tvs and we decided to come and give you our point of view we really do appreciate you taking your time to watch this video up to now because it is very important don't leave without giving us your thumb ups because we really do appreciate that and most of all if this is your first time to watch our videos make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our videos for now continue to be yourself be good be kind have respect for everyone in order for you to be respected May God bless you all. I'll see you again very soon. Ciao, ciao.